boys and girls. All right, we are going to be drawing cartoon breakfast food today, and we'll be drawing um, a bowl of cereal and some milk, a carton of milk. All right, so we're going to start off with our bowl of cereal. Our bowl of cereal is going to go about right here where my hand is on this side of your paper. Our milk carton is going to go right here, and it's going to look a lot like the milk cartons you get um, in the cafeteria for breakfast. So we're going to start here, and we're going to do kind of like a flat U shape. So it curves and goes around like that. All right, now we're going to draw our bowl. It's going to come right where the tip of that curve is, and it's just going to be a big... U shape. All right, and then we're going to draw it going right over. All right, now we got to draw our cereal inside. And you can do either just bumps, and I'm going to erase that line right there, or you could do bumps, and then you could do like if you want to do Fruit Loops, you could do circles with the hole in them. And you have them going all different sorts of ways. Some are hanging off the bowl. Some are just right up here. They're little, really more ovals than they are circles. And they're going all sorts of different kind of ways. Have some from the bottom peeking up. All right, there's my cereal. Now I want to do my face. So I'm going to do, they're cartoons, so they're all going to have faces. So I'm going to do two circles for the eyes, about the same size, and I want to do a highlight here, and a highlight here, another highlight here, another highlight here. And those are just, highlights are just where we keep it white, and it makes the eyes look shiny. So I leave those circles white, and I draw them in there. Draw some eyebrows, and I want to make a nice, hungry bowl of cereal, and I'm going to have his tongue sticking out. He is so excited, he wants to eat his own cereal. All right, and then I'm going to draw a spoon coming out. So I'm going to curve line out here, and then I'm going to do a little closer in, and I'm going to go out. It's going to be thicker at the top, so it's going to come out like that, and then I'm going to connect my points, and that's all you have to do for your spoon. You draw it coming down so it's in your cereal, and then you erase that line right there, and there you go. There's your bowl of cereal. Pretty easy, huh? All right, our milk carton can be hard uh, depending on how you look at it. We're gonna try to make this as easy as possible. So we're gonna come right here because it's gonna be a little bit behind our bowl of cereal. And we're just gonna come up and draw a line. And then, let's see here. We wanna make it kind of an L shape. Don't go out too far because this is gonna be the side, the face of our milk carton. And then we're gonna come down and just basically make a diagonal square. It's kind of like if you ever made a 3D house, kind of like our barn that we did Friday. Um, that's what it's gonna be a lot like that, uh, the barn shape where we did it 3D. So we're gonna then come out over this way, come down and connect our points. Now we need to do our roof or the top of our milk carton. So we're gonna draw a triangle and draw it over. And it's okay if you didn't do, went over a little too far, you can always go back and erase. And that's our basic milk carton shape. We're gonna do the little top part. Remember, there's always a top part that sticks up. And then to make it look more 3D, because you know it goes in, we're gonna draw from here to this point to here. And it's gonna go out and make like a, a skinny triangle look, like that. So now it looks like it's going in. And then at this point, we're gonna do our ovals for our milk face. These are the eyes. Draw a little highlight in there. Little eyebrows. Happy can be. And then I want to draw little cow spots. And you can color these brown. It can be chocolate milk. Oh, and I want to write the word milk. And I'm using all capital letters. You can do it however you want. And that is how you draw your milk and cereal. Now you can color it a bunch of different ways. Um, I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna add another spot right about in here. All right. 
Let's see here. I want to go in, I want to add some shadows first. Just to make it a little more 3D. Some shadows here. Shadows there. And again, at this point, you can start coloring it however you want. Um, this is my normal cereal bowl, and I will be coloring it while y'all are working. And then we can compare results. But I do want to show you, you can make it creatively you, uniquely you, as we're saying. Um, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Halloween. I love the holiday. It's my favorite. So, because Halloween is coming up soon, I drew a vampire milk carton and a zombie cereal bowl. And I turned my cereal pink to make it look like brains. And I have green slime coming from my milk and a little green ooze coming from the mouth. Um, so you can make things, again, uniquely. You don't have to do a zombie, you could do normal. And I'm going to be coloring. And I want y'all to go ahead, start working, coloring. And I'll be giving out tips about shading and coloring as we go. But again, this is your time to be doing your project because this goes in, I'm adding some darker shading. And I really like to outline everything in black marker, black color pencil, black crayon. Um, just give those crisp edge, especially because they're cartoon. It's not something you outline all the time, but because they're cartoon shapes, I really like to outline them, make them nice and bold. Oh, and I gotta color my eyes. Remember, it's always easier to trace around your highlight first before coloring. Like I said, right now you're doing your own independent coloring, unless you want to color yours in the style that I'm doing, which is fine. Or if you just want any tips or trips, tricks or advice, I'm gonna put some eyelashes on my milk. Make it a little nice, happy, girly milk. And there's no wrong way to do this. Now, some of you might be wondering why I lightly shaded underneath, and that is shadow. Uh, the more and more drawing tips we go through, the more and more I will give to make it look more 3D. Every object casts a shadow, even in the room. More so outside, of course, y'all know that. But even in a room, objects cast a shadow. my spoon. I'm going to make that a little more 3D. I want some of my cereal poking out there. And some people, when they do their drawing, they draw, like to draw in pen, so they get this. They don't have to go back over and outline it, and that's fine. I like to have the ability to erase first. All right.
I'm going to get a brown now and I'm going to color in here and here and again you can be using whatever tools you want to be using um, shading coloring it however you want um, you know just like our cows we made some alien cows and like I said if you just want to do just color it however you want I'm just lightly I'll come back when we fast forward and color in those spots a little better but I want to show you about the bowl um, however you're coloring it even if you're making it similar to like my zombie bowl um, if you want to make it look more round you want to pick two colors um, either that or draw darker and lighter so I think I want to make my bowl orange um, so I want my orange color pencil but I also want my red color pencil. I'm going to get my darker red too. To make something look more round, remember this is your lightest area right in here for right now. And we're going to do the sides darker and coming in. So I'm going to lightly color in the middle with my orange color. Go ahead and color my tongue so I can color over it and it won't matter. Might even want to color in some rosy cheeks here. I'll do the same on my milk. Alright, so now I can color over it and I don't have to worry about those colors um, changing or being different color. So I'm just lightly and I'm kind of going in a rounded fashion. Alright, now I'm going to take my darker red color and just come around the sides and I'm going outward. Coming up in the top of the bowl and around. Like I said, if you're doing a blue, you might want to use purple on the sides. Uh, green, use blue. Um, yellow, use orange. Uh, red, use purple. Again, that's all up to you. You can, and if you'd use different colors besides the ones I mentioned, you can might make, make it look like it's almost changing colors with the light. I'm gonna do the same thing over here with this red. And now I just take my orange and color over it, over that. Make sure not to color over your highlights. When you finish, it'll look something like. All right, guys. That is my happy little bowl of cereal and milk. I use brown and yellow for my cereal. If you're using Fruit Loops, you might want to do different colors. Can't wait to see them. Remember, you could do your normal bowl, something creepy, something unique. I don't care. It's your artwork. 
and I'm so excited to see it. Y'all have been doing a wonderful job. All right, see you later. Bye.